Just sound. Okay, uh, let's begin our today's lecture. Let me hope that you're getting my voice clear. And what we are going to use the mode of interaction, uh, we beg that uh, we use the chat room. Uh, if you are not at enough, please you can put in the chat room uh, to show me whether you are getting me well done. Can you hear my voice? clearly before i kick off you can write in the chat whether i'm odd enough uh, please you put on your full names uh, so that uh, my class recording is clear okay that's good bilal i have seen you can get me well okay yes john mary yes now let us start our today's class the beauty with this today's class, even if you miss any concept, I will try to make sure that I do the recordings and then I share it to you after our class. I beg that we attentively get the information clearly. Thank you. At least all of you, are at, uh, at least I'm worth enough to kick off. So I'll be switching off my video for to avoid interruption of the network, and then I'll be putting on in different intervals. And uh, I'll be also engaging you, and please, my engagements, you know them very well. If I ask you, please be proactive that you type in the chat, and then you give me uh, what I have asked you for. Uh, I may prefer to use the chat, than, than the, the speaker because it may interrupt our audio. So what you can do, you can just type and be very fast that if I ask you anything, it is prompting your marks. Whatever I ask, I award marks accordingly. And anything which will be general, I always be taking the first three to respond. If I ask a general question, I always take the first three to respond and the rest will be just recognized for attempting. But I want to thank the attendance, at least I have right now 45 who have joined. Uh, Halima Patrick, please uh, you can uh, raise your hand off. Your hand, I don't know whether you want to speak something, please 
come on before I start. Do you have anything? I'm seeing your hand is on. On. Can you raise it off on your media? You have tried to click on your Zoom and raise your hand off because it shows that you wanted to ask something. Are you asking something or not? Okay. Uh, today, members, our lecture three, uh, we are going to be sharing uh, the personal computer hardware. The computer, basically, we look at two things. We look at the hardware part, and then we look at the software part. Before we go for the practical, uh, we need to understand the gadget itself. So having got the introduction about the computer, the different categories of computer, we clustered them that we have a hardware and then we have software. So with the hardware, please, whoever joins, make sure that your audio does not interrupt. So that uh, issue of having two interactions of the hardware, that is the physical one that you can touch, and then the software that is something that you can touch. Okay, so you need to be conversant that uh, that kind of environment of computer or the ICT in medicine, we have computer hardwares and we are going to be seeing them considering different technologies on board. Okay, uh, so uh, let me start up by talking about the personal computer. I remember in my first meeting, I told you that whatever we are interacting with, it is a personal computer. It is a computer. You yourself, you, we say that it is you a full package of a computer. Now we want to start and see different tangible gadgets of computer today. So a hardware component, uh, basically, as you have already said, that every computer has got five fundamental hardware component that we shared in one of our classes. Members, be attentive, but uh, because I'm not going to take a lot of time, uh, most of the things, at least we shared them in our preamble classes. So it will be very easy uh, to understand here. Now, we said that there are basically five fundamentals of uh, hardware computers that we retry use. Can I get a quick uh, of those five ones? You write them down in the chat and then you give me what are those five, you know, fundamental hardware components? I'm waiting for them. So you can just type in the chat and then you list for me the five fundamental hardware components. Okay, I will give it just one minute to get done with that activity. What are those five components, uh, the five fundamentals uh, of a computer? Alex, please, Caroline, I'm waiting. Dan, I'm waiting for your answers, please. Be very fast, you type. Um, I said that I take, I want them, when. don't list to one. Uh, Patrick, I'm seeing only one, list them. What are the five fundamental hardware computer? No, speaker, no, 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 no. What are the five fundamental hardware components? Components, right now, if you're in exam, you may be in trouble, okay? No, 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 I'm seeing, uh, okay, David, you are saying keyboard and hardware, no, Dan, no. No, 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 nobody is, no, 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 monitor, no. Okay, wow, 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 no, 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 no. Mr. Sabit, no, you're not yet on track, please. No, 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 you are missing the concept, members. I'm saying that every computer has got five fundamentals. The five fundamentals. Wow, okay, there's one person who has got, uh, I'm seeing two. I'm seeing two people who have got them. Okay, Hajar. And then John, Mary, at least you have got the components, good. Okay, I've only got two people who have, go, who have at least got it right. I said I take the 
first three, okay, and then Walusimbi. So I have closed that chapter. So those are the first three people I've got. So the five fundamentals, these are the input, processing, and please, when I say you note down those things for me to also clearly track you down, okay? You note down that uh, you already, and then at the end of the class, I will tell people who have gone through very well. So thank you very much. So the five fundamentals, if we are, talk, we are talking about the input, the processing, the output, the storage, and the communication device. Those are the five fundamentals, dear students, that we shared even in our previous classes, okay? So when they ask, please, we are not asking you to start listing the components, like people who are listing the CPU, the, the central processing unit, Okay, so members, you can stop that one. It is already done. I have already got to the first three. So that is what we cluster as the fundamentals of computer. And that's what we are going to look at today. So the best concept of computer hardware, these are the input and the output. The best, the best we look at the input and the output. The device which are doing the work, those are the two. So, okay, so we always refer to the input and the output uh, devices. So the process of getting information into and then out of the computer, those are the two best components that uh, we literally share here in our components. Then with the input and the output, we can see that we talk about uh, the, the peripheral devices. The peripheral devices are pieces of hardware, like a printer that you can add onto your machine. A printer, you add it on your machine, okay? Then we talk about the hard disk, okay? Or the disk drive. That means you have a, disc, a CD, you want to play a movie, then you can get it and then insert it in your machine. Those are all peripheral devices. Then you have a flash, okay? The, the, the different gadgets like a mouse we have nowadays, wireless mouse, we have, you know, where the mouse, these are all peripheral devices that which are, you know, added onto the computer. There are many gadgets that we are going to share today and then we shall under that category of peripheral devices. Okay, now categorizing them, the list, at least we have already talked about them. We have the input, under the input, you can see uh, the input devices, they accept data and commands given by the user. Okay, you give a command, the data and commands can also be sent to a processing unit. Okay, the data, they are sent to the processing unit, your head. You receive, then the head does the processing and that is the CPU. Then Iggy, we have the keyboards, we have the mouse or the mice, then we have the scanners, then we have uh, the microphones that is under the categories of input device. Then we have the processing. The processing, at least everybody knows that these are the, the CPU, the memory, these are helping you to process whatever execution that you give it. Then we have the in output, the display. Then you have the storage the CD ROM, the DVD ROM, okay, the, the flash, okay, the hard disk. So we are going to see them by use of different pictures so that you can easily understand. Let me hope that we are still on board. Uh, please, where you get interruptions, you feel free to share it with me so that I can know that I'm not working alone. Then communication device. Dear students, with communication device, your phone nowadays has acted as a communication device. Why? You can have a Bluetooth. Why? You, it can act as a, a Wi-Fi. You get, it becomes a communication device. We have satellites, okay, the, where we can get information about you. That means the exchange of information from one computer to another, okay? through exchanging, exchanging basically the different data given to it. So we can see the cables. These are devices members. The cables, you always see cables even in your room 
being truncated, moving around the Ethernet cable that you put in your machine. These are the gadgets that you are talking about as communication device. So if I tell you that, please, can you explain some of the communication devices which are used? Here we are talking about those cables, which helps us to connect to internet, which helps us to share data. Then you talk about the satellites, you talk about the phone lines. These are all the gadgets uh, that we are trying to share here quickly. Now, members, this is very important also to know because we are talking about different, you know, PC or um, computer components. We have the cases, like your laptop has a case, your desktop that you have at home, it has a case. So these cases, they help us to house, to house everything inside, where we put everything inside. So in our upcoming class, uh, go to willing, I'll be in position to bring these gadgets to class physically to see. So be sure that you have understood them. I'll be sharing the notes to you. By the time I come with these gadgets, you can spot them out and then tell me that this is the gadget that you talked about. This is the casing and what is housing inside so that you can understand. So the housing cases, basically take uh, you know the case houses the internal components which are inserted the memory the cpu the motherboard the power supply power supply we shall talk about it that it supplies power as you hear the word power and then supply it supplies power then if you are talking about your laptop here we are talking about the adapters if we talk about the power supply here basically we are talking about the desktop machines, the desktop machines that we have. So when you look at, uh, you know, down here, you'll find something here. This is just a terminology, members. Uh, they say form factor refers to the physical layout, how something it is designed. You, a person, you a form factor, your physical layout, they can tell that you're a girl. They can tell that you're a boy. They can tell that you're a man. They can tell you that you're a woman. That is your form factor. Even the machine has its own form factor. The way it looks like the look of the machine. And that's why if we were to compare your mobile phones that you have right now, they have different variations. That variation that we are talking about it is the form factor that your machine, the cartouche that you have, and somebody who has a smartphone, they are all having form, phones, but they are of different layouts. The design, it is different. And that whenever the design is different, they call it a form factor. So if I tell you, can you explain what is a form factor? A form factor simply means the layout how something appears, the physical design of something and the look. So even the machines, they come with the different form factors, with different sizes, with different shapes. As you can see down here, we have all these gadgets. You can see, okay, here the list, you can see them, okay. We have the full tower, the full tower machine here. Uh, it, it is basically, it has everything. It has the screen, it has the, you know, it is just a cluster, they call it for full tower. Then we have the compact things that are packed together. And then we have three in one, or, or they say all in one. The machine has everything. You, everything it is put in one you know, it is put in one part. So these are the different uh, members don't write, don't write when um, at least so that we are not interrupted. Thank you. Then, uh, then members, we talked about the power supply. That diagram that you see there, it is the power supply, okay? It is the power supply. That's the way it looks like, okay? So that's the way you can interpret. Uh, Mr. Sabit, your audio is on. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. I have switched you off. Please, whoever joins, make sure that your audio is off. You, you may speak something that we don't want to hear here, and then you create troubles. Okay, okay. now let's continue. Uh, we're talking about the power supply. The power supply, it is just which converts power. Okay, these are just simple terminologies to understand them. Don't say that uh, um, you, you're going to become wizards of computers, but you're already wizards of uh, you know medicine. So be ready to become wizards of everything. So computers uses power supply to convert the, for those people who learned physics, the AC and then the DC, just that is the simple terminology. It is converting from the direct current to, you know, the alternative current, just that. You just need to understand if we're talking about, but again, it has connectors. These are just connectors, which a power supply, you know, it has connectors inside, which keeps on connecting to different gadgets inside, okay? So that's the way it, it happens. Yes, yes, uh, Ronald, you have brought it very well. That it is SC to DC. What it gets and then it gives you the direct current to your machine. Thank you very much. Okay, these connectors, this is just a diagram to show you if you have ever found them. Don't, uh, you know, it shouldn't worry you, but those are just uh, the different, uh, you know, uh, layouts on how they are portrayed. So that those are the different connectors to inside your machine. So when I bring it to show you, at least you will know that, oh, from the power supply, these are the connectors which are connecting on different gadgets. So with that slide, it shows you where it connects. It connects from what? Pin, the SATA, and then the 24 pin connectors. At least the idea, uh, you know, becomes very straightforward. Then we have a motherboard. Here we're talking about the different gadgets, the different hardware, the motherboard. What's all about the motherboard? The motherboard, it is the backbone of a computer. Without a motherboard, you don't have machine. Yes, you have a machine, but the machine will be pending without a motherboard, okay? So, Toreko, please, I think you're on the border border. Please rest and then we continue, okay? You switch off your, your, your audio. Bad. Okay, so here we're talking about the motherboard. In simple terms, without the head, you, don't, you are not existing. Even the machine without a motherboard, it, it has no way it will connect to other gadgets. So it is very important to know about these gadgets very well. So this is the way it looks like. The other, the other one that you see here, uh, right now, uh, it is just at the bottom, at the back. Okay, that's the way it looks like. Okay, and those wires that you see in simple terms are called the buses. Mm. When you send any message, it goes through those buses and then takes it to where? Is supposed to connect. So when you see it, mm -hmm, at least you have got the idea that at the back it has buses. Don't tell me why they are called the buses instead of lines. Yes, that is what they have opted to use. Okay. So uh, then at inf uh, now the other side was at the back. And now we can see the in front of it how it looks like. Yes, I. Uh, uh, David is asking, can somebody buy a motherboard instead of, in, in case it is spoiled? Yes, brother, you can buy a motherboard. That means if your laptop, the motherboard gets a problem, you can go and buy another motherboard, but of the same, the same layout. And that's why I talked about the form factor that it must be the having the same physical layout, okay? So you need to get the same the same thing. So when they are buying, they shouldn't just go and buy a motherboard. They may bring it when it is not fitting in your machine and then you get problems of another thing. So you get something which is fitting, but you can go and buy another one. So basically that is a motherboard. It connects to different gadgets as you can see, okay? 
Among the components which sits on the motherboard, we have the CPU. It sits on the motherboard. You have the RAM. Please, okay, Balam, you are writing in my notes. You may create problems. And whoever writes, at least I will be chopping Max here. I can see your names, whoever is writing. Okay, so we can see that uh, among the gadgets that we have here, uh, we have even the start extension slot. Uh, that one is just uh, for noting that uh, where they put different technologies. I think some of you have ever seen your people using their computers becoming their TV. Okay, the, their computers becoming a, a PlayStation. The, if we, your computer misses that technology, you just add it on extension slots. So it, as you hear the word extension and then a slot, so if you want to add something in your room, some of your rooms are fully occupied with a lot of things which you don't know even, which you don't even use. So if you have a room with a space, that space that we are considering, it is our extension slots that we can put even the pencil there. So in simple terms, then we have the chips, then we have the BIOS. These are just different terminologies. We have the internal USB connectors. Those are the gadgets. Now, let's try and talk about the CPU. CPU, we have already got the CPU. It is among the processing gadgets, okay? It responds to any information given to it. For it, it is for interpreting and then executing commands. That is the CPU. It receives the instruction, executes it, and then it forwards it back to you, okay? So in simple terms, then other gadgets that we have inside, we have the fans, okay? We have the fans, okay? Extension slots can they be used to increase the RAM? Uh, no, yes, you are saying something nice, rather, but we may not use them for, uh, you know, enhancing RAM. The RAM, we are going to talk about it, for it has its space where I'll put those ROM, ROM, the ROM, the ROM. No, no, you're talking about the ROM, ROM? No, 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 no. ROM, we may not expand it, but the RAM, we can expand it. Can you increase RAM nowadays or it is installed? No, no, you can increase, okay? Ibrahim, what you're saying, we can increase RAM, okay? And that is even open to you, the human being. Some of you came with Juju. You were just looking for ways of increasing your RAM and from your judge that whenever you put it on, you have, you can understand it. Dr. Francis, you can understand engineer, whatever he's saying. That is your juju, that is your RAM. So even the computer, you can increase the RAM, okay? Carol, don't write in my work. So you can increase the RAM whenever you want. Okay, I will be also interacting with some of the things that you post and you get your answer clearly. How best can one maintain the motherboard perfectly? It is by keeping it in the, that's why I'm talking about now, this is what I'm going to answer right now. How best can you keep your motherboard perfectly? Cooling systems, fun, don't put it in a high temperature environment. You are killing your motherboard. I even told in class, why do you put your, uh, your laptop on your thighs? Okay? Don't put the laptop on your thighs. So whenever you put the laptop on your thighs, automatically one of the key things which is going to be affected, it is your motherboard. Okay? So how do you keep it perfectly? Automatically maintain it in a well straight layer on the floor, which is rough enough, good enough. Then aeration should be enough. Make sure that your aeration is okay. So why do you need to put it in a, a very hot environment? Then you are killing it, okay? So I think we have got the point very well. So to maintain it, make sure that uh, all those components are kept very well. So we need to have fun. The fun it is always to keep it cool. It keeps even the processor cool. 
Mm? Like some of you, like that room that you I teach you from. And that's why today I, I decided to teach you from, you know, hey, at least I'm safe. It is. It has a lot of temperature. I don't know how you survive. Doctors, maybe you have different inguinies that you are using, but that your mother body is going to die one time. Tea. So you, how do you keep it safe? Make sure that you keep yourself in a cool environment. I think I've tried to interpret uh, to make you understand Mary, your concern very well. Uh, then uh, to quickly, as I we shall be winding up in just a few uh, minutes, once you have one understood, we shall move on. And if you refuse to understand, again, I will stop my class. So now there are different memories. The computer has memories. Does heat from the computer affect the user his health? <laughs> uh, yes, Mr. Sabit, automatically most of us are not producing because of these gadgets. I think I've answered you quickly. Some of the youth of now this generation, they are not productive because of these gadgets. I even told you in class, don't put the laptop on your thigh because it is producing heat and the heat once it comes out then you are in trouble you look at your wife she doesn't produce then you are complaining and the problem it is you okay so this is because of uh, the gadgets that uh, we literally use even your phone produces a lot of heat which at the end can affect you very well I think that point is clear. So Mr. Sabit, surely the heat affects us a lot, which is very dangerous. That's why we have a lot of cancer nowadays because of the heat from computer. But that one does not you know, challenge you not to, to have a computer. If you don't want a computer, I think you rather go to another generation. But our generation here, without a computer, you can't exist. So members with RAM, RAM, types of RAM, we have the ROM, okay? We have the RAM, which is a, the temporary one working storage for the data and the programs that are being accessed by the CPU, okay? When you send something, that RAM, it is the one which first keeps it for a moment and then forwards it to somebody else. Adding more RAM in a computer enhances the PC performance. The more you add RAM, the more it becomes perfect. But now members get to know something here. That it doesn't mean that you need to pump it with a lot of RAM. You may give it to too much RAM and for sure it doesn't improve, depending on the technology. If your technology is of of, I don't know, your ancestors, even if you add more RAM, automatically it will keep on affecting. It won't change because the machine can't afford. So like some of you, even if I explain here in class, I try to use all avenues, you may not understand because maybe your RAM for sure has a limit it stops and even if i try to you know push it further nothing happens so it is the same interpretation dear students so that even if you add more ram nothing will be you know you know will help you so again the ram has limit depending on the, the technology that uh, you know you are using okay uh, somebody was asking a question here. Let me see it. Okay. Oh, who is asking? Uh, Adnan. Adnan is asking a nice question here. So, which means that uh, that RAM requires power. That is the interpretation. Volatile RAM. For it, for it to work, it needs power. Without power, for it does not work. That means the computer must be connected. If the computer is not connected, automatically it may not uh, do anything. So it requires power to, 
to maintain the stored information, which means that once the power goes off, wow, <laughs> you are not going to find the data if you never saved it. Uh, are we together right now, brother? If you, it is via trial, because once the power goes off, you are no longer having anything stored on it. Uh, okay, so uh, in simple terms, RAM, you can add the room it is like some of you say that uh, you know mm, some of you like if i am to talk about my brother sabit sabit if your leadership styles are god given you are wrong and if your leadership styles are just mentored then you are just looking for ram ram means you can look for it but rome it is already embedded in you it is given to you okay so what are the limits? Yes, the limit, Mr. Balam, it will depend on the device and whatever device that you buy, it has prescriptions that telling you that, yeah, eh, these are the details you can't exceed. Okay, it's uh, <laughs> submit here, my brother. Yes, I don't know. One day we'll try to find out whether it is God given, okay? Okay, just uh, in a few minutes, let me talk to this person. Okay, I'm back. I was interrupted a little bit. Uh, and now somebody is saying that can Rome be destroyed by yes, it will be destroyed by it very well and that's why even your ram in your mobile phones sometimes you keep on buying new ones i think walusimbi you have bought many if you have you if you have a smartphone and they always complain that your ram yes it can be destroyed by those you know different attackers okay but even most of the time it is always destroyed by power Members, we have adapter cards. These are also external devices you always find. These adapter cards, members, if you find that your sound is no longer working, you bought your machine, but sound is not working, you can go and buy what they call adapter. Adapter, something that which can be adaptive, which can work on that environment, but it is external. So you can replace the malfunctioning device, a device which is not working, you go and buy an, an adapter, okay? You buy a, a video adapter, your video is not showing, you buy another one. You buy a TV card if you want your, your yours, maybe your machine to be used as a TV, okay? Like the use of nowadays, instead of going to buy a TV, you can just have your machine, have a TV card tuner, and then you watch your TV, the rest, then somebody will ask you, do you need an antenna? Yes, because it has that provision where you put your antenna and then you work, okay? The, the, there are many here. Then we have the storage device. We have the hard disk. We have the optical div device. That is where we put our DVDs, CDs. I don't know. Sabit, are you still using tapes? In, even in your room here, if you are still using it, I think we are going to demote you. But we have TV, we have tape drive, okay? I don't know whether I still have any doctor still using tapes, but they are still there in the video cameras. Those small tapes, now they are becoming so small, slim, to, have, to solve problems, okay? So these are the explanations of the hard disks, tapes, and the rest. You can read. That is just English. You can read and then understand. Yes, I know, Sabit, they are useful. But I say the technology differs. Now tapes which I use are not the other tapes that we usually use here in Uganda. They are so much used in more advanced machines. Okay. Uh, these are just for, for noting members. You can then we have the CD ROM, the CD ROM, how they are used. Then we have different types of CD ROM. We have the CD, we have the DVD. Okay, they come up with different 
size. That's why you have this table, dear students. They have different size. You can see that size, okay? So all those sizes are very important to get to know. Then we have video ports and cables. In our class, you remember when I, I was showing you the different, you know, even our projector was missing the proper technologies that we are using. It was missing the HDMI. The first one had the HDMI, and then we had to go for a video one. But uh, these are the different one, even the USB that you are using. These are now it is the time, high time to get to know their names. We have the Thunderbolt. Very fast, very fast in communication, very fast. So those are the ones that you can see the HDMI, that is the high definition multimedia interface. High, it's very speedy. You put something, you get it there. And there. These are the categories of different, you know, cables that we are using nowadays. These are all the cables. So why are we getting to them? It is when you hear their word, when you hear any word about them. Ah, you, you are not in problems. At least you know where to start from. That is the main point why we are trying to get to know about them. Okay, let me hope that we are seeing you together, dear students. So these are the ones that we are trying to talk about here. Now we have other more other pots. Uh, these pots that you see here where you, yes, few machines which are still having in them. Okay, the PS2 for the mouse and the keyboard. We usually, you usually use to connect using these two that you see here. But I don't think that we, we still have people who are still using them. Okay. So they are all here, the network, where it sits, the video, the gaming, those are the different cables where they will be inserted. And the names are here that you can get to know. Then we have, this technology is very important nowadays. We have com adapters and converters. Adapters and converters means that you get a technology like a USB, uh, but your USB does not, you know, uh, support your maybe mobile phone. So you can get an adapter which is adaptive, okay? And then you use another converter which converts from another interface to your interface that you wanted to use. So you can buy something which converts. It has two, co it has two sides. It converts on both sides, okay? So... Uh, yes, 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 yes. Thank you very much. Yes, you, you have, Kalema, you are saying the truth that, yes, sometimes they call them those bananas, okay? The banana cables, whatever, the, the yellow, blue. So uh, those ones are also, they are used for video cards, but depends on the technology. They are so much used on our TV, but again, that is also a lower version of technology. But now the latest version, people are using you know, the Thunderbolt, very fast in communication. Then they are using the HDMI, so such thing. Okay. But we're saying that the audio is not clear. Okay, sorry. Remember the rest, the audio is not clear. Okay, as we continue. Members, we have other input devices, the original input devices. These are the ones that you can see here. Those are the original input devices. The keyboard, the mouse, eh? you remember the, the gamepad, those are the original ones. But now we have new ones, okay? New ones on board nowadays. We can see them here, okay? The new ones that we can talk about, the touch screen. If your phone is not a touch screen, mm, there's something, but I'm not saying that you're in a wrong environment, but again, these are the new input devices, okay? People are using nowadays. The swiping cards, you just swipe in, okay? A type of device that allows designers to create different gadgets, okay? 
you just sit on your screen and then do things very well. So all these are changes which are changing technology. More others, you can see we have the digital cameras, the webcam. Right now I'm using a webcam to communicate and some of you already have your webcams on. So these are all, uh, okay, the hotspot. Yes, thank you very much. These are all the input devices right now we are using. The microphone, the smart card readers, the signature pad. Okay, Mr. Sabit, do you have a signature part or you are, we are still also in the same technology? Because things are changing. Yeah. Okay, ah, you need to bring it in my office and I look at it. Okay, so you, you just need to have a signature, but digitally, mm -mm, which is digital. Okay, from Nira. <laughs> yes, that is the one that I'm talking about. Okay, so that you can is a document for somebody who is far away from you. The more recent one, these are the more recent one members. The more recent one, we can, the sky it is the limit, the near field communication, okay? These are all gadgets which are used, okay? You tap in to pay, you tap in and then pay all together, the facial recognition scanners, I said in class that your phone can be your facial recognition scanner. Within a second, it opens, okay? The thumb printers and many others. The voice recognition, yes, you say, hide your phone and then it opens. Hide your door, then it opens. Then the output devices, these are the ones. Nowadays, we have the virtual reality headsets. You just put it on and watch a movie, you know, even during COVID, many clubs, for some of you who are club fans, for me, I'm not, okay? But you'll find that you go to a club, so Sabit, don't organize one day, and then you say, ha, engineer, for sure, let me take you out. I will go out, which is not for club, okay? And then you take me and we enjoy. But nowadays we have clubs, okay? You enter a club, nothing, but people are seriously getting mad, okay? So why? Because of technology, things have changed. Somebody will just enter, these are the virtual headsets. You put on and we sure we are at the same pace and then we enjoy the different environment. Okay? <laughs> yes. Yes, uh, they are all now, we have monitors and projectors. Yes, even the projectors that we have, those are all output devices. Then we talked about the virtual reality, uses te computer technology to create simulations. The 3D environment, you can be in the forest. Okay, you watch a movie, you simulate. These cartoons that you see, I just, they use technologies and then things come out very well, okay? Yes, Ibrahim, I think you know it very well. Even you have said it's silent disco. <laughs> Let's pray for you, okay? But we have, you know, those silent discos people are talking about. I don't know why we don't have silent classrooms where we only enter. The, cl the classroom is quiet, but I'm interacting with you. Maybe today we're having it because people are in maybe in class, but all of them are silent. Whoever enters, he just looks at you and then get shocked. What are you doing? Okay, but you are literally attending to a class. So it is always good to, to you know, to deal with this kind of environment when you have understood it very well. Okay, sorry, uh, somebody has some few issues and his phone is off. But I think uh, it will be catered for, okay. So we have printers, members nowadays we have 3D printers. These we just put there and then it comes up with your brain. Now look at even those, they are coming up with, I think a museum in one of uh, the rooms. But that is, those are 3D printers. You form like something, those toy cars that you see, we're using just 3D printers to come up with such wonderful outputs. So then we have speakers speakers and many other things. So let's end here today.
uh, if we have uh, understood the class, we may not go further to make your heads bust, but at least we hope that we have understood what are the gadgets, the hardware gadgets. Then in the upcoming class, we are going to be focusing on softwares and then we move like that. So I'm seeing a hand. Sister, what are you saying? If you have something you can type or you can, if your voice will be clear, please, you can come on board. So dear uh, students, let's be proactive. We go through them. I'm going to be forwarding the video. I may forward to you the link so that you can get it on my YouTube channel. And then we will be also forwarding the notes immediately. So let's hope that we have understood what are the, you know, the gadgets of a computer, the hardware parts. And then we have discovered more. Some people, at least we've been using them, but at least this is the high time to get to know their names. I hope we are all okay. <laughs> Somebody, Sabit is saying something nice, but I think it is an interaction that we shall bring on board by many lecturers also try to convert with the branded learning online and then physical. And that's the way we shall be doing it. Even if I'll be at the campus, sometimes I will force you to be online so that uh, we enjoy. Some of you who have issues, at least you won't miss my class. I don't want anybody to miss. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to, where is, where is, I want to find out whether somebody has attended. Where is Sonko? Please, Sonko, if you have attended, can you say at least a thanks for my class? If you don't say it automatically, another negative 10. You have already accumulated many. Sonko, have you attended? Please, I'm waiting for your message. I don't see Sonko among the attend people who have attended today. Please, and don't write, type for him because I can see everybody's name here. Sonko. Okay, please tell out to Sonko and then where is Seru Kenya? Okay, yes, Seru Kenya, I can see you, but at least if you I'm are here, the one. I'm yes, here, at least I saw you. Yes, yeah, so that is wonderful. So thank you very much, apart from Sonko, who has troubles for my classes, please you do communicate to him that if he doesn't get to me this week, whether I'm there or not there, please he must communicate to me why he has missed the class. So he was around for some part of the lecture. Where? Adinani, you may create trouble by yourself. Okay? So if he wasn't around, he wasn't around. Thank you very much, members. Let's meet. Hopefully that we have understood the class. We meet again. Inshallah, may God bless you and give you a lovely week. Bye-bye.